Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing yet another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a drama from Spain, Spanish language English subs, released in the year 2017, directed by Eduardo Casanova, and this film is called Skins. So Skins centres upon a group of people who are deemed as outcasts by society because of the way they look. Whether they were born with deformities or conditions or they had accidents, these are people who just don't have the confidence, but they have a lot of inner beauty. So they're trying to get into society, but one thing that each and every character has in common is that they want to be loved and they actually want to uh, give love but to, in order to love someone you have to love yourself therefore you have to accept yourself and the reality that you're living in but that's going to be a lot easier said than done and whether or not these characters can achieve this is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Skins. I've known that this movie has existed on Netflix for a very, very long time, but I just really hadn't had the desire to watch it. But that is until recently a friend of mine actually said, you should check this out because it's definitely up your alley. So when I actually saw the trailer, I thought, okay, this looks very strange. Spanish cinema is very good. But it's been a while since I've seen a really good Spanish film. I'm a massive fan of this area of the world. So it really ticked all the right boxes. But for some reason in the past, I just, it just went under my radar. I knew it was there. I just didn't really have a desire to watch it. But then I I saw the trailer, I read a little bit more about it, as I said, my friend said that you should really check it out, so I thought, okay, I'm going to check it out, I and mean, what was I going to get myself into? And what I got myself into was just a really, really far out, strange, but yet beautiful film. This is a movie that really hit me on a very strange note, is that this is a film that doesn't quite feel like reality, but then it does have a very strong dose of reality in its storytelling. This is a story that's been told time and time again. We're always told about the true beauty is the inner beauty, as opposed to the outer beauty. There are many films that depict you know the true ugliness is what's inside so you've got these people who look absolutely stunning on the outside but ugly on the inside and so this has been done time and time again and I thought all right well how is this director going to spin make a spin of it on his own and I will say that just the way this movie looks the way it plays out is a very strange film but it's also a very funny film with it's also quite a shocking movie and so it has a lot of emotions there's a very conflicting emotions thrown in there for a very important message and so the film does have a very quirky tone to it I thought it looked beautiful the color of pink and and purple was very evident throughout the entire film so it's got a very colorful palette and that palette makes it a different dimension and then it also makes it a very uncomfortable dimension because everything on the outside seems perfect but then these people who are considered outsiders everything about them seems ugly but then you start to uh, these characters start to blossom in a very beautiful way and you start to realize that the people on the outside are the ugly ones. And it's just the way it's told, you know, using a generic story but telling it in a way that actually feels very unique was something that I definitely think uh, Eduardo Casanova achieved in a very, very impressive way. So the soundtrack was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you've got uh, some you know, very well-known Latin songs, which I really appreciated, especially one coming from Argentina. Uh, you've got the acting that was very quirky. The script was very quirky. As I said, there were moments that really made me laugh. There were moments that really disturbed me. So it just has a really uneasy sort of quality in the tone that I felt as though although it's consistent my emotions weren't that consistent it was all over the place which really made an uncomfortable experience but as I said there's a strong level of beauty that is thrown into there and that real message of you know basically being beautiful on the ins outside but ugly on the inside is basically cancelling out being ugly on the outside, beautiful on the inside. And so this that demonstrates what is beauty and what is the most important form of beauty. And ultimately that's something that you can answer. But for this, the film really shows different people reacting in different ways. And it's basically about our interactions, how we exchange with each other, how we treat each other is ultimately the real beauty. And I thought this movie shows that in a way that's not dictating that to you. It's having a lot of fun. But at the same time, it's taking itself seriously enough for you to actually connect to it, to actually invest your time to see what was going to happen. So I thought the run time's only 70 minutes. And this movie has a novelty kind of feel to it in that, OK, yes, it's very, very quirky, but ultimately it is telling a generic tale. So the 70 minute run time was perfect for it because it doesn't outstay its welcome. It just hits you with the very strange qualities and that's enough to actually carry it over the finish line. So I thought as a Eduardo Casanova took on a very generic story, but he's actually made it his own in what was at some times a shocking experience, very uncomfortable, and also that that was funny and also beautiful. So a lot of emotions thrown into a very strange Spanish film. If you like uh, movies from this region of the world and you want to see something different, Skins is definitely one I would recommend. I'm going to give this film three and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.